here we are at Las Vegas Strip with Mercedes-Benz. It's uh, one in the morning. We just finished a long tour at CES. And we're gonna have a rare opportunity to be passengers in the Mercedes-Benz EQXX. There it goes. That's the most aerodynamic car in the world. Well, finally, here it is. This is the only one in the world. Are we gonna be passengers in it? This is a fully electric car. And again, with all this design, it's the most aerodynamic vehicle in the world. We're gonna have a professional actually we're gonna have the driver who set up the record for the longest drive with an electric vehicle in one charge the name of this car is vision eqxx and uh, mercedes-benz have secured this license plate with uh, deutschland germany stuttgart eq and this will be roman numerals 1010 e so eqxx e pretty cool even the license plate in this car a huge screen all across hello hey what's your name i'm boris elinek and i'm your driver for the day so um i hear that you uh, are the driver who set the record in this car right i was one of uh, a few drivers yeah, so the very first road trip we did, uh, we drove to Cassis. We was uh, free drivers and the goal we wanted to achieve with this car is drive in more than 1000 kilometers yeah. without extra charging. So only the 100 kilowatt hour battery wow. uh, brought us to the uh, destination of Cassis. We drove from Sindelfing where the R&D uh, headquarters is located uh, down to Southern Frost to Cassis, a small village and this was more than 1000 kilometers uh, but the special thing about it we uh, reached our destination with 15 percent left in the battery oh, still you can go a little bit more yeah. so uh, we did the math and we realized we could go even further like 140 kilometers so we uh, started a second drive oh. we drove to our colleagues from the uh, formula one team um, amg patronas and yeah. also hpp um, that was all those two was also involved in the um, yeah, building and um, in the development of this car, of this car yeah. and we drove to, to Silverstone and we did a new record um, driving more than 1200 kilometers wow. and this was like in real world conditions so it wasn't like uh, closed streets we was driving in, yeah, in, in traffic there was some uh, traffic jams as well we was using the so AC like the, what people will experience in real life yeah absolutely and uh, this is this is the car that you did all this this is only one in the world yes, right? yes correct there's only one mate uh, we got like a mule car with the same powertrain yeah. but it's a uh, different uh, chassis and we got also like a mock-up that's um, at the moment at the ces booth yeah we saw that this morning this yeah. is the only one uh, with the street legal license plate wow. and we drove those two um, record runs excellent so let's go beautiful screen here all across the the front. I've never seen a car like this. Yeah, you can stripe through by yourself oh, if you want wow. to. We got different, um, yeah, like pages on our um, pillar to pillar display. For example, yeah, this is the solar roof, and this helps a lot when we are driving um, during daytime. It but will recharge. And we are charging the 12 volt system. Oh, oh I see. That means we don't For use the accessories, a lot of power yeah. from the um, powertrain battery yeah. and we are extending our range um, even further. So now we are good to go and we are starting. Beautiful design too, not only efficient but all these details. Yeah, a lot of details even for uh, like a research car. I mean, our main target was driving the 1,000 kilometers, but we still want to uh, point Be out a real Mercedes. that it's a real Mercedes, so you've got a lot of comfort. For example, as an engineer, when you want to 
build like the most efficient car, you don't think about the center console yeah. or armrests. Um, this is like extra weight. So we were oh. focusing on uh, very lightweight materials like those uh, 3D printed elements in the center console, also the door handles and... Oh yeah, it's just like a little strap, yeah. So. And all the materials inside are vegan as well. So, um, for example, the 3D prints, like I mentioned before, uh, those are 3D printed out of uh, recycled household waste. Okay. Then the leather is made out of cactus. Oh, really? And we got materials we um, know so far from the production cars, um, like our performance models, the AMGs, the Dynamica. The Nemica mm -hmm. is a um, synthetic Alcantara leather, so yeah. also pretty lightweight but durable at the same time. And yeah, <laughs> something special are the floor mats. They are made out of bamboo with very high floor, so you're feeling yeah, very com comfortable in this car. What's the uh, horsepower and top speed of this car? So we limit this car to 140 kilometers, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that this car is only able to drive this fast just because it's a lot of work for the company um, but due to the very good resistance for example uh, the wind resistance like here you can see the aerodynamics right at the moment we got the very best aero drag of 0.17 um, this is because at the moment the diffuser is extended I did a yeah. manual normally there's an auto mode and when you reach there the speed Yes, so like when you are driving out of the city conditions, it will extend yeah. and your aero drag uh, drops from uh, 0.18 to 0.17. And the second active aero element you can see in the front is the shutter. Uh, this is only open when the car is uh, needed to be cooled. So oh, okay. um, the air goes through the radiator, which means this is a little bit more of a resistance and the air will go through out of the bonnet to be uh, yeah separated around the uh, the greenhouse like the windscreen yeah so it's a four seater and the seats back there are really cool too with uh, the ambient lighting so you were telling me like you were driving before a lot of people give you the thumbs up because they they see this is something special right yeah it looks a little bit like a spaceship and <laughs> it's futuristic but also a little bit of retro because of the long tail due yeah. to the, the aero drag um yeah it's something i would say something really special that people don't see uh, on the streets normally so the main focus of the design is the aerodynamics right like everything is functional every has a everything has a reason to be there uh, yes so for example um, like you see here we got different uh, active aero elements like I mentioned before yeah. but there are also passive elements so we got the air breather and air curtain at the around the wheelhouse that means we got a, um, a air stream going around our flat um, wheels uh -huh. So um, even the wheels create turbulences, which affect the aero drag. So, but it's not all about the perfect aerodynamics. It's like um, engineering and design coming together. You see, um, the wheels are still open. For example, uh, different or other cars that um, want to create the very best aero drag. They got covered wheelhouses, yeah, and it's not looking like a they don't look very car. Nice, yeah. So um, we we did it with a lot of technologies, the active aero elements, the passive elements as well, but also our wheelbase in the in the rear is a little bit more narrow than in the front. So we oh, got really? this tail drop shape, not even um, not only on the top, so also uh, because of the width of the car. So the drop shape is like the perfect um, shape we wanted to to design yeah um, due to the aero drag and the bottom of the car is completely flat I assume right because yes. it's covering all the elements the batteries and all that so between uh, the, the rear axles we got on the floor the battery and this is um, yeah like perfect flat and we are using the surface 
uh, also for passive cooling. Oh, okay. Um, because we are so efficient and we're not le needing a lot of power, there's also not a lot of heat. So the heat we are creating um, will be just cooled by the passive um, cooling plate on, on the bottom. This so saves us um, like cooling fluid and electrical pumps as well. So we are saving weight and energy on the same time. Okay. So when you did the, the record, both uh, the first one and then the second one, it were just longer. You were driving like normal, or you were using the the Stronic Plus system, or uh, any, any of that, or um, how were you were driving? I was driving. We got like different driving modes. At the moment, you can see here it's a D plus. Yeah. D plus means there's no recuperation, so the car just continues rolling without okay. any resistance. And if there is a need of braking, for example, you, um, yeah, approaching traffic, a traffic yeah. light, for example, then you can shift to D, D minus, and down to D minus minus. D minus oh, okay. minus is the very uh, strongest recuperation, and this goes um, into the full stop. So normally, um, you don't need the mechanical brakes because um, the brake torque of the electric motor is so strong. Uh, only in a case of an emergency or you like now break, yeah. when I uh, protect the car against rolling I'm pushing the, the brakes so the mechanic brakes are holding us so any other cool technologies in high, inside here the cabin like I, I've seen that you just swipe here and like everything yeah, changes this one is also very interesting um, this is the page about the wind we mm. got a uh, very small holes in the bonnet in the front. Okay. Um, it's four in summary, and those are measuring uh, the pressure of the wind. And because we are knowing how fast we are going, uh, we can see from where the wind is coming from. Oh wow! And um, what is the benefit of this? We can see, for example, you're driving two times the same um, same route, but you got a different consumption. Mm -hmm. And maybe it wasn't your fault. Or oh, it's, it's the wind. Yeah. You can see. Sometimes you got a benefit when you got um, the like yeah, tailwinds. Yeah, like, it's like the planes. Yeah, exactly the tailwind. Absolutely, and this could also give you information when you are on a long road trip, and you you don't want to recharge. So you can get some more informations about, um, for example, when you got the tailwind, uh, you can speed up, for example, um, driving faster without consuming more. Or maybe you get like a warning yeah. if you want to um, reach your destination without extra charge maybe you can reduce your speed about like 10 miles and you will reach um, your destination so a lot of people are still skeptical about electric cars I mean you're a very advanced engineer at Mercedes-Benz you've been working on this project and you already have experience it and have like actually records with it so why would how besides showing and talking about it how would you convince someone who doesn't believe in electric yeah. vehicles yet um, I mean it's it's completely different driving compared to a combustion engine yeah you got so much torque from like from zero from um, standing still and also for um, for driving long routes it's very um, comfortable driving um, with an electric motor so yeah. we, we did a lot of uh, test drives for measuring um, for the record run and I mean you can drive 1000 kilometers and you're, you're pretty relaxed when you um, reach the destination so I like it because you got like the best of both worlds you got power and comfort at the same time yeah. but this one in particular with this um, design and, and uh, performance and everything else this is still a, a pre-production uh, a prototype car yes but in reality what what would you say will be the range which uh, most people will be comfortable with 300 miles 400 miles what do you think is that magic number that some people talk about this, this is a tough question for example we got here a 100 kilowatt hour battery yeah and we can go, like I mentioned, yeah. 1200 kilometers. But if we reduce the battery to the half, we're still capable of driving uh, more than 600 kilometers and we are still 
saving weight when we're reducing the battery by half. Exactly, so you'll be more efficient, yeah. And what's also a good benefit of um, being um, efficient, for example, in this car, if you charge 15 minutes, you are able to drive more than 300 kilometers. Yeah. So only with a quick stop, maybe you drink a coffee, you're good to go for uh, yeah for quite yeah. a while. I think uh, for most people uh, that again have not driven cars or like electric cars and not convinced completely, they have to experience it, right? Like Absolutely. we cannot talk, we can talk and do the video and like have to write stories, it. but you have Absolutely. to feel it, right? Yeah, and learn to live with it. Where's the station? How how much I can really drive? How much I can go on a daily drive or uh, versus a long road trip or something like that? You really have to experience it. And like I think people who get into an electric car, they very difficult will go back to a internal combustion engine car, right? I would say so. Yeah. So there's no way back. There's we're not going back to any of that. Well, maybe we still have some, but... <laughs> maybe you can compare it a little bit to the times we was used to um, got us, before our smartphones, yeah. we got a mobile phone with the buttons. Yeah. And then there came up the, the smartphones with the display. You're too young to remember the brick, <laughs> obviously. And, and at the very first beginning it was like so tough to yeah. make a text. Yeah, yeah. But now you, you don't want to go back to the, no, the old course, phones. No, of course, yeah, yeah. So new technology brilliant well thank you very much for the ride here at vegas i uh, many not many companies are able to close the part of the street to do this so really appreciate the effort from by from mercedes-benz and all the information you've given us my pleasure thank you very much thank you settings for example here is the display brightness uh, ambient light but also um, you can close and open the shutter for cooling the diffuser at the moment it's uh, permanent out and of course climate controls and on your side on the right hand side there's yeah. a passenger entertainment for example on the and I can watch a video if I want yeah oh that's oh look at that wow it's fantastic well very special occasion. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. My pleasure. Very privileged. So you pull it out here? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Good night. Good Enjoy night. Vegas. <laughs> I will. <laughs>